Welcome back to Fun Media and today we're gonna go work with some green screen with Pinnacle Studio 24 Ultimate. Uh, you can do it with other version anyway. Uh, so just before you shoot, you do some green screen stuff, if you're shooting green screen, just make sure of something. Make sure you have your background light on your green screen to make sure it's more flat. It's gonna be a lot easier for the software to understand where is the green you want to switch with your background and make sure to think what's the background you're going to have. Let's say you are, you know, you're going to have your subject in a dark prison. The front light when you're shooting, make sure it's not too light, a little darker. If you're thinking about putting that person in a big sunny beach, make sure you have a big spot in his face, which is going to be your sun. Yes, you can do some color matching, but when you're shooting green screen, your lightning is the basic. It's always better to have a better thing there. I'm gonna do three things now with a green screen. Basic thing, just changing background, what pretty much everybody's doing with green screen. And after that, we'll push it a little more, because after that, you might need some correction for either reason or not. And after that, uh, we'll push it more with, with a third little advanced more video. Uh, so let's do that and let's have a look how it is. All right, so let's go. Let's start with the first one. So the first one is going to be this lady's happy, but she would like to be in this office in New York, Manhattan. So we'll put it below her right here. All right, so the office is right below her. So let's just start with some simple stuff with green screen's chroma key. So I'll double click on that one. You go in effect, keyer, and here's your, you kind of got a couple of chroma key you can do, but the one we want to use right now is that one. So I'll click on it it's rendering so of course something I could do is get New York a bit bigger in the properties right here so there you go this is like major thing that people would do doing some clip on YouTube just changing the background that's really cool uh, and of course you could adjust some more stuff right here like color tolerance from the green all right so I mean so, sometimes 675 is good softness uh, there you go. Just to show you what's the difference. All right. Spill, like you can see sometimes a bit of green that's around your subject. So that's the spill suppression. All right. So that's it. Now let's go to the second one. We have this those girls dancing, but they would like to dance at the beach. So let's bring the beach. All right, so the beach is below our subject. So one more way that you could go with that is go here, FX keyer. So just like the other one, you have those. And with this one, you have a couple of option to work on your keyer once again we're working studio chroma keyer you can drag and drop if you want there you go double click on it to work a little deeper so not right now the thing is your subject is not like at the place they're not dancing on the water of course so I'll just work a little more stuff here to spill but this time, what you want is have your subject at the right place. So you're going to use this button right here. Maybe make them a little smaller. 
and I like the girls right here and there you go so we're done with that one so we did the same thing as the first one took off the green adjust a little bit and this time we, we had to adjust the subject on the screen All right, let's do one more. So this time, and this is going to be my third example out of four. This one's going to be the fourth one. We we have a computer, so right away your first image is the one with the green screen. And this time you want to put something inside the green screen. So let's go in the bin right here. And let's just bring back this New York background. So there we are with our New York background so once again we're gonna use some gear let's take the green out and there it is New York is in the back so as you can see it's looking pretty good right away thing you could do this time of course is go just if you want it in the properties and once again adjust what you want to see in the screen from the computer All right so let's go with the number four which will do a little more stuff on it and now for the last one let's have a look at what we're gonna do just imagine the lady's not there you have a book flying it's not there uh, you're gonna have I'm gonna have to hide the leg of the lady. Let's just have a look. So for that one, of course, there's a, a bit more work, but uh, I'll show you how I did that. All right, so we have this lady and this lady would be a good teacher at Hogwarts from Harry Potter all right so I'm just gonna go back here and I have a Hogwarts I don't know if it's just probably like the library I guess yeah I guess it looks like a library but might be an office I don't really know but this woman she's gonna be a teacher taking a coffee in this room okay so we'll we'll have to do a little more adjustment for that one and I'll put a little extra at the end All right there she is so I'm gonna be real quick on some adjustment right so we don't really see any green anymore so of course she's a little too big so I'll put her a little smaller but the problem is she's like floating in the air so that's where the magic will come so of course we are doing green screen but to make this green screen work, we're gonna have to mask some stuff right here. So that's what I'm gonna do on this. I'll just block that one for now. And go in a mask, create a mask. Create shape. So I'm just going to take it a little bigger and use this little thing right here. So I know my character is about here. But I need her to be behind all of that.
there you go my mask is created and now I'm gonna have to put the mask because this is the mask that I created I'll put it above the lady all right so my mask is created I now it's above my subject so now you're gonna go into function so you got a mask properties or the matte properties once again mask is that one here the mat is all around so I just want to go into mask properties go opacity and see now the disk only the disk is in front of the subject so what you can do after that is just go back to your subject and one now that your disk is there I'm just gonna adjust the size of the woman there you go so now it looks a lot better a lot more natural of course you could go after that do a bit of color grading to match a bit more color but this is not a color tutorial but it looks pretty great already anyway and just for a little bonus gonna block that one block that one I got one more green screen right here which would be kinda cool for Harry Potter stuff it's a book so what I got here is just a book but you can do a couple of cool thing once again here get rid of the green so I'll make it smaller you'll see where I want to go with that just to show you this book is opening and closing right so in Harry Potter you always see flying books so I'll just put it right here and maybe a little smaller because it, it, look, it look really really way too big and let's say I would like to have this book starts outside so I'll just give it some keyframe, put it outside, and right here, I would like to have the book fly all the way to the other side. Boom, new keyframes. So let's have a look of how it looks we went from green screen with a book green screen with the lady some background working here and there and now that we have a fully seen let's have a look at how it is there was already a book there the book's flying and now it's gonna go all the way to the other side pretty good huh well if you enjoy it please like the video subscribe for more I'll do more stuff later and I'll see you again with fun media see you guys